tafadhali is ni heri utumie rigo police because nataka urudi kwa post usome venye sisi wangu ananijibu hapo nataka tu urudi ufuatilie hizo post mtu mnafaa kuanda kwanza ni sisi wangu mkienda sisi wangu atawapeleka kwenye mtoto wako because is the one niliacha mtoto sisi wangu ndio mnafaa kuanda sana sana wakiwa na hiyo bwana yake ya yeah? because you might know walienda wakatishia ule because yule naye nimemtext ananiambia ni ngoja ni ngoja so i'm waiting ni am waiting because nimempigia ameniambia ni ngoja atoke kwa road because nilikuwa namwambia kuna namba napigiwa hapo inakuja ananiambia ni ngoja atoke kwa road please 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 make sure before my baby get more worse tuition hata hiyo jirani anezogopa anitupie mtoto nje na mtoto wako kibira please i beg i beg anda kwanza sister yangu because she is the one who know where is the baby eh yenda anajua kwenye aliacha mtoto she is the one who know please please waliniambia walipiga police station kibira so sijui ni police station gani but hebu nichunguze ni kibira around wapi let me check it because mimi mwenyewe hata juu walinipigia wakaniambia sijui hapa ni kutoka kibira police station wewe ndio mama yao mtoto nikawaambia eh mimi ndio mama ya mtoto Okay mtoto ako kwa mkono fulani na fulani because tulikuwa tumekosana na hiyo semeji because kuniambia tu mtoto mimi sitaki kumwana kwa kungu na muuliza mtoto nitampeleka wapi saa hizi niko huku nani atachukua hiyo mtoto akae na yeye So ndio jioni nikatextiwa nikaambiwa mtoto ako kwa mikono ya mtu fulani so jua venye mtoto atatoka kwa hiyo mikono so let me nifuatilie hiyo ndio namba ya huyo msichana mwenye ako na mtoto kwa sasa hivi Ah oh, nimempigia. Ananiambia hata yeye anastuka ni watu wa gani hao wanamfuatilia. Wanataka mtu because aliambiwa na makarao asijaribu kupeana mtoto kwa mtu yote unless either one of my family amekuja brother yangu au mtu yote wa family afanye nini huamchukue mtoto waende naye mpaka police station na nimejaribu kumwambia we ni journalist ashike simu yako akuelekeze kwenye mtapatana mupelekane mpaka police station yenye aliripoti mtu huyu okay nimepata brother yangu i'm waiting ndio ni maana kuna namba men text ameniambia ni brother yangu ameniambia kifika hapo police station kwenye kwenye wameongea na hiyo Mama kuna mtoto watanipea report so I'm waiting the report uende huko uende huko u confirm Of course so to my amazing people my name is Ed Godiambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi Kenya guys eh? guys you've just listened to what exactly is happening on the ground kuna hii story ambayo sasa hivi imepewa kipaumbele sana and most of these like this story is trending uh, pale kwenye online uh, pale kwenye media and uh, this is a story of a certain lady by the name uh, Chantel according to uh, pale kwenye page a jeans ambavyo anapata kujiita and uh, dadaki ambayo pia anaitwa Masi kemuntu usiji Masi eh? guys eh? unapondoka hapa Kenya unapoelekea uarabuni ama unapoenda nje you going to look for a job and also fight this poverty level that we have here in, in Kenya yeah? imagine unatoka hivi unaacha mtoto wako na dadako and uh, unamwacha unaacha mtoto wako na dadako and then you have been sending money kila saa unatuma pesa nyumbani unatuma pesa nyumbani and uh, unasikia kwamba ule mtoto wako kuna siku tu nasikia mtoto wako alitupongwa nje alafu sijui eti jirani eti somebody anapata kuokota huyu mtoto ati jirani yake anapata jirani amepata kukota mtoto alafu akakutext through uh, Facebook akakwambia nimekuota mtoto wako ukaambia the best for the first thing to do ni kwamba upeleke mtoto police station you guys i want you to listen to this story there is a story ambayo ni ya mtoto ambaye amepata ku uh, this lady, the mtoto ambayo unamuona hapa mamake amepata ku post pale kwenye uh, channel yani pale kwenye uh, uh, Facebook na akaelezea kwamba mtoto wake amepata kutupwa nje hii ni baada kwa sababu alisema kwamba alikuwa amepata zile threats kutoka kwa dadake and uh, dadake alikuwa anamwambia chukua mtoto wako kama sio hivyo mtoto wako jua na nyima stare sasa dadake amepata the, the, the sister ambaye anaitwa Masi ambaye alimwachaga mtoto ambaye anaitwa Masi sasa Masi eti Masi amepata kuoleka na wakaishia kwenda kuishi maeneo za Kibera na akakuwa na akiwa na ule mtoto but saa hizi inasemekana kwamba mtoto alimrusha nje alitupa mtoto nje na mtoto akaokotwa na jirani fulani na huu mjirani amekuwa kikaa na huu mtoto sasa for sometimes as uh, they are still looking for the family members guys i heard of this and i was uh, willing and genuinely to help but 
because of one two three reasons i'll not uh sita sita pata usai like i'll not be that much into it this story you guys remember the story of other, the other kid ambaye alikuwa anaitwa gift tukaenda hivi enda hivi mpaka saa hizi aku kwenye inaitwa aku kwenye atulimpeleka alipeleka kwa children's home eh mpaka mama yake ile time atapata kutoka maeneo za Saudi arudi Kenya kwa sababu watu kupata watu walikuwa genuine and people who are willing kusema kwamba yule mtoto ni wao and uh, they are ready to face ile ile battle eh? they were not ready so mtoto akapelekwa gift alipelekwa sasa round leo hii pia another kid ambayo pia kwa majina pia ni gift tu amepatikana alipatika, alipatikana na majirani alipatikana na jirani jirani akachukua mtoto akamweka akapigia mamake simu mamake yako maeneo ya Saudi akapigia mamake simu and uh, akaelezea so when i saw the post pale mimi personally i tried reaching her mom out nipate kusikiza is this really genuine is story ni ya ukweli so when nilipata mamake amepata kunielezea that uh, yeah new true mamake umejua like she is dressed up lakini the only thing ni kwamba mtoto yuko safe na amenieleza vitu mingi mara mtoto eti amepigiwa ameambiwa mtoto ako na malama alafu akaenda pale akapost now to what shocks me ni kwamba you are posting that thing ame post huyu uh, Chantel ame post sister yake mwenye alikuwa amemwachia mtoto eti yao kazi yao ni stare anawatumia pesa stare na saizo ametupa mtoto wangu nje kwa sababu huyu sister yake alipata bwana you see Now family matters wamepeleka kwa online kwa social media hawajaanza hata na wazazi wao wenyewe you guys tunaweza pigia mzazi waambie mzazi ajaanza na mzazi i don't want to judge but i want just to talk facts agenda ka post unajua posting your sister uka post sister yako pale eh unasema venye sister yako size kazi ni bwana kazi eti aliwaacha mtoto amerusha mtoto sasa sister yake amekuja pale akaanza ku comment guys i want to see, you see sister yake ana comment hapo anasema venye these are it is ni mchezo eti yeye hizi rusha mtoto nje acha kudanganywa nini nini now the sister is also commenting sister yake ana comment pale like you are posting i'm posting something accusing my sister and now my sister again is there to defend herself you see <laughs> guys sometimes is a bit to defend here yeah? Hizi ni vitu vifani lazima niwaambie niwaambie tu niwaambie tu wacha ni kuleta mambo na social media hapa social media we will laugh at you we will toil you we will do everything these people will do everything hmm? sasa imagine some of these people they are not even defending wanaambiwa waende kwanza kwa familia because they have families they have mama yake yako why can't they solve this uh, kuanzia mama So apparently mimi nimwambia the only thing kwa sababu ule mdada alishapeleka alipeleka mtoto police station akapiga report akaachiwa mtoto akapiga simu huko akasema venye yuko Kenya and then the process sasa umejua mimi personally ningetaka kuingia if now ningekuwa like the first person kupata ule mtoto i know the illegal process to be followed by because there is somebody alikuwa the first person kupata ule mtoto na akampeleka police station they reported this papa kibera hapo uh, kibera police uh, police uh, station and then now the legal process need to be followed so mimi ni may advise to the lady that the only thing you can do right now ni kwamba chukua mtoto wako uh, pigia watu wa familia yenu sasa they come kwa sababu mwenye nakana mtoto yeah si ule hata mimi personally nimempigia but mimi na understand kwanza mimi ni tu si amesema mimi ni mkora nini nini but i do understand ule jirani mwenye alipoa mtoto i wanted to know more ama kama ni simple i i come through ni was idea very fast to one when mtoto anaweza pelekwa apate mama yake but personally ule mama ana follow like kila kitu but that is good that, that is always good ukipoa mtoto and you know that like some people are not in good terms you need to um, pay more attention na kwa ule mtoto and strictly nobody touches the uh, the, the minor yeah? so umejua amekuwa pale ame amekuwa keen like so when i called i told her uh, that mimi ni so and so and i wanted to come to help you assist this family to side very fast as possible uh, the lady akaniambia that mimi ni mkora nini 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 mkora nini mkora nikasema ni sawa because we person idea but what makes me to sometimes guys let me not joke so much because sometimes mimi macha ni mbizi vitu i've seen these things don't if you have like kuna process ya kufollow like hiyo post sasa hizi imekula imeenda viral huyo mama amekuwa exposed to vibaya sana ishaenda viral ishaenda viral nothing you can not change the 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 the, the story ishaenda viral mama me post usha expose dadako ndio venye anafanya kazi ya umalaya kazi ni i like raha raha anapenda raha na wacha di mtoto hmm? anakuachia mtoto anatesa mtoto wako uh, that is what that lady was saying He me says idanganya and the post that was that lady was saying I me to see that daki and the, the sister also was there to defend herself wacha kudidanganya no guys maybe i've not listened to the other part of the story so i cannot come here and judge but i'm trying to look for that sister and realize what really happened yeah 
but guys ukipewa ukiachua mtoto hapa Kenya mimi have seen and I want to start a movement whereby wale watu ambao wanapewa majukumu ulikubali majukumu and then baadaye unaanza kufanya majukumu yani unaanza kulenga unaanza kufanya vitu azifai I'll need to do the follow up and also I'll expose mimi Mr Kudanganya mimi I'll, I'll, I'll just come and talk about you here I'll expose you so that people other other people can know you eh Hmm? ni pale tu mtoto umetesa nikikuja nikiambiwa ibu angalia mtoto nikifungua mgongo napata ni malama nini nini mimi personally I'll not I know the illegal rights ndakupeleka huko mbiumbio teke teke hey. guys it has happened it has happened na najua hii ni mwanzo I'll give you the updates baka ile siku ya mtoto mimi personally by the way ile siku ana hand over mtoto I think I'll be there also to make sure that ni mwaletea the whole history ya huo mtoto upate kujua what really happened alafu ule pia mwenye alimpata akakaa na jirani if possible kama atakuja kwenye a camera atuongeleshe it will be good by the way but guys be keen to who unawachia mtoto hapa maeneo za Kenya people are here because they are knowing that you are going to get some money they are go, you are going to get some coins sawa so wanajua huyu hii ndio kitu wewe huyu ndio source of income mtoto wako ndio source of income they are going to use your kid to toil you every now and then na sisemi tu ni ma sister ama nini madada ama nini hata your family relative hata mama yako mzazi we have parents ambao wamekuwa evil they are being driven by wealth they are being driven by money you are like an asset that is being used to make a, a live like to earn incomes most of all ladies wamekuwa a uh, vitu vya vi, like the vitega uchumi your parents are using you your parents are using you your sister is using you eh ni complain kidogo wanajua uko huko una, una yani unafanya kazi lazima and ile time imefika unalia only one two three people will talk about your issue wanaongelea leo kesho wamesahau wakati unasafa they will not come they will not come i'm telling you hata huyo they will not come they will not come and fight for you they will not come i'm telling you kuna watu wangapi wameambiwa hapa kuja hata kama utakuja kwa jeneza just die kuja kwa jeneza kwani wewe ni wangapi watu wamekufa hapa kwetu tumezika wangapi na saa hizi unawachia watoto bado wanawatesea vitega uchumi guys vitega uchumi hata saa hizi naona hata children's home is the best place kupeleka watoto wetu wenye eh? hata mimi nafikiri hata nafaa nifungue self child children's home ni kwenye nikiangalia watoto wa watu wenye wameenda ku fight for you know fight this poverty Hmm? Aina tutese watoto. Guys, I'm going to give you that whole story. Let me just do the follow up. Mpaka dakika ya mwisho, but the post is still there. You guys you can also do the follow up. Naona imechemka, mambo imechemka. Yeah. I goes by the name Edgo Diambo, a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. Guys, thank you for watching. Let's meet on the next uh, video. Meanwhile, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It's draw to 10k subscribers.